Well, Kitch, nothing to look back on this weekend, uh, obviously with the, the game against Leighton Orient postponed. How does that affect the, the preparation and, and the, the, the squad? I mean, yeah, you can look at it two ways. It can be positive with a kind of a rest and more preparation going into Swindon. Or you can look at it as negative where we haven't played, but on the, on the pitch we're still um, working hard and looking forward to it, yeah. So I suppose you could see it as a missed opportunity to pick up points, but with the, the weather hitting as it did last week and less time out on the grass than you'd have liked, I suppose this now gives you a, a good, good amount of time to prep for Swindon. Yeah, exactly, and you can look at it that way as well, but um, we're just going into every game now positive and looking to put things right, really, yeah. And on a personal note for you, obviously, your first full season in, in the Football League and in professional football, how are you finding it? I'm enjoying it, yeah, I'm really loving it, yeah. Obviously, the staff and all the, um, all the players have been really good with me. So yeah, it's been an, an enjoyable season, but uh, it's not finished yet. So we just need to start kicking on now, really. And how how do you feel you've like developed throughout the season? Yeah, from the start of the season to now, I think I've come on a lot as a player, um, and it, it's it, it's just that experience. It's playing games and uh, different situations in games, and just slowly building yourself up to be the play you, you, you want to be, sort of. And do you feel like you're learning every time you step on the pitch, especially with the the experienced defenders in the squad and the likes of Stokes here and Matt Mills? Yeah, 100%, yeah. And uh, on and off the field, they're both really experienced and they're helping me in different ways and always trying to help me kick on and be a, be a better player and a better person. And obviously, ten attention's now turned to Swindon Town on Saturday. It's no secret it's a big game, a side top of the league. How are you preparing for that one? Yeah, I think we're all playing in the same way, like we do for every game. But obviously, you know, it's a local derby; it's a big game and big crowd there, so it's one that we we're, we're going to enjoy and uh, yeah, see what we can do. And a little bit of late drama when we hosted them back in December. Obviously, yourself, you've been injured in that game, so you were on the bench. But we've got a great clip of you running down the well, yeah. limping down the touchline yeah. after Millsy's late equaliser. You could really, really see the team spirit on that day. And, and how important is it that you hone in on that and, and use that in the, in the coming games? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we come out second half flying. We got, I think we give them a, a bit too much respect in the first half. You could say that as we went 2-0 down. But I think we could have won that game any other day if we um, maybe not sat in as much. And uh, the second half, we got, I, th I thought we performed really well. And is that second half performance something that you're looking to harness going into Saturday? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. As you can see, we second half we sort of won two 0 if you want to say that. But um, yeah, we'll come out flying, I'm sure, on Saturday and give it a real good go. And obviously a bit of a test for you and your fellow teammates and defenders with two of the most on form and most dangerous strikers in the division. How do you prepare for a game that you know is going to be a test? Just same as every game, really. Obviously, you try your hardest in every single game. It's not like this game you're going to try harder than that game it's you just going to every game as, as as you'd like to yeah and big stadium big atmosphere is that the sort of uh, pressure and atmosphere that you feel like you could thrive in yeah 100% I love them big games yeah yeah you, you, you can see that from the, from the bigger games we've played this season before already and do you think a big game like that is something that perhaps we need to kick us up a gear yeah I'm sure everyone wants to play in these big games don't they do you know what I mean in front of the big crowds and I think we can really thrive off it and put a good shift in on Saturday and you never know what could happen. And I, I suppose it feels like with the season with just 11 games to go, it, it could be the perfect time to put a, a little run together and get back to where we want to be and know we can be. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's a great time to start now as well. Well, obviously it would have been ideal a few games ago, but why not still now? Go on a run and see what happens. And a game away from home somewhere, obviously, I suppose it counts back to back away games with the um, home game being called off on Saturday. The our results have been slightly better on the road this season. Is that something you look to? Mm, not really. It's not like we only win away or we, we want to win every game as every team does, but I'm not really sure what it's been down to this season. Yeah, we have been better away, but I don't know really. Yeah. And do you know what needs to be done to beat Swindon Town? Have you gone through your clips yet? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we've done a bit, yeah. But um, just play our game, really. 
and uh, are you expecting a similar Swindon side to the one that we welcomed to the new lawn back in December? Someone that will a side that will come out early and try and hurt you on the attack? Yeah, definitely. But I'm sure we can control that and monitor it and uh, do what we can. Really, yeah. Perfect, mate. Thank you for your time and Cheers. all the best on Saturday. Thank you, mate. <laughs>